All right, so when you're using Google Sheets, sometimes it's easier to enter dates if you get a pop-up calendar. So we'll go over two different ways to get that into Google Sheets. One of them will be the quick and easy way, which works best if you're just a single user. And then we'll do a second way that is helpful for multiple users in the same spreadsheet. So first off, we'll do a single user. Let's say we're just going in cell, let's say A1. We can do this all with the keyboard. So start out with the at symbol. And if you just type date, it narrows it down to that type. And we just press enter and you get a pop-up calendar. So let's select a date from here. So we can use our mouse. Let's just say this, I don't know, February 13th, 2023. Click on that and it inputs that date in a valid format and Google Sheets now knows that that's a date and not say, for example, two divided by 13 divided by 2023, right? Because dates are kind of hard to get into Google Sheets correctly, but if you use a pop-up calendar, you will know that they're always going in, right? So that's the first way to do it. And the second way to do it is to and prepare a range to be only dates and then any user that uses a spreadsheet can double click on that range and they'll get the pop-up calendar. So let's say, uh, let's label this column as date. And we'll say that anything that goes in C2 down to C18 is a date. And we will do that by going to data and data validation. And you get this sidebar that comes up on the right hand side and this gives you the ability to specify all sorts of rules on to limit what goes into that range so we'll click add rule and we already highlighted the range so that's why that's pre-filled into here as c2 through c18 so that's good come down to the criteria and we're going to change that to is valid date so what that does is the only thing that can go into this cell is a valid date. And since that setting's activated, that comes along with the ability of when you double click to have the calendar pop up. So we'll say is valid date. And we'll do an additional setting here to reject the input if it's not a valid date. So now not only are we giving our users a pop up calendar, but we're also limiting the input to that cell to only take a date. We'll say done. Click off of there, we'll act like we're another user, we'll come into D8. If you single click, you don't get the calendar, but if you double click, it pops up. All right, so we'll say February 22nd, 2023. Next, we'll talk about a formula that will calculate the passage of time between two dates. It's called the date diff function. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.